Hello ladies and gentlemen, Groovy Guy here and welcome to today's video where we're going to be having a look at the power of the Prime's Dinobots. Now I'm going to say this right off the uh, right off the hilt is um, it's good to have the Dinobots sort of re-released as their G1 selves. Their scale though is shocking. They shouldn't be in this scale. They should each be a size class up. Uh, so let's have a quick introduction. We've got, I'm going to be, this is Slug, but I'm going to call, be calling him Slag or Slug. I might slip every now and again. We've got Swoop, Slag, Grimlock, Sludge, Snarl, and Slash. Uh, Slash is a female, uh, I believe. Um, she doesn't really have an official uh, integration into the combined mode of Volcanicus. Um... So I'm not going to be using her when I do the combined mode. Uh, she's pretty cool though. A nice little Velociraptor inspired look. Since we keep learning as to how dinosaurs actually look. this She's missing her feathers so it's not really that accurate I suppose. Uh, have a look at Swoop. Uh, Swoop you can extend the wings out. I just had them compacted so it would fit into the uh, opening shot. There's his little... Uh, fist for combined mode. It's got the saw that stores here, but you can just pop that off, leave it to the side, so he can he can pop his head down like that, and he can sort of have his little knee swoop, and he can sort of hunch over like that. Pretty cool uh, alt mode. Nice little pterodactyl, pterodactyl. Uh, having a look at Slag now. Nice little uh, Triceratops. Little cutie pie. Like I said, these guys are just way too small. They should at least be uh, Voyager and Grimlock should have been a leader. But there you go. It is what it is. To be sure, to be sure. Pretty small. Um, the plastic on all these guys feels a bit, I don't know, not cheap, but it kind of does feel like a little brittle, but it's not really because, I mean, you can just pretty much squeeze it as hard as you can and it probably won't break. Probably won't break. It might, so don't try it. Uh, for Slag, you can pop his head out a bit if you wish because it is sort of wedged in there quite well. So what you do is you pop it out and then you can leave it and then you get him a bit of head uh, posability. Rawr. Rawr. So he doesn't look like all his he's all flat and squat and bent up. Put that down. There you go. Uh, let's go to Snarl. Snarl is weird. His dino, my, dino mode hind legs are on an angle like that, which is pretty cool. Um, it does doesn't really hinder anything. It just for some reason to me it looks a bit weird, but I think that's because that's where the robot mode fists are. They've got to be curved back a bit. Uh, he has his usual sort of unimpressed dino mode scale on him. Looks pretty cool. Uh, the plates are... Hmm. On the computer monitor you can really see a color difference between this and the rest, but in... IRL, you can't really. It's because these ones fold. They're sort of um, just out of the way spikes, whereas all the rest is sort of, you know. Having a look at Sludge. I always like Sludge. I like his voice. And Sludge. I always like Sludge. I like his voice. And I just like the Brontosaurus, even though I think that's been um, debunked as never having existed. The old Brontosaurus. Um, really pissed off still that he was killed in, uh, Power of the Primes, the, uh, Machinima series, but then again, Machinima is the Latin word for morons, um, and the big guy himself, Grimlock, who has a lot of Volcanicus kibble on his dino mode back, um, he's got the Enigma of Combination, I think that's what this one is. I don't really care about what these things are, they're just, they're there, you know. Pointless filler, but they're the uh, combined mode feet. They can sort of, you know, be stored 
They can be used as blasters in robot mode. I'm not going to stop you from that. His uh, mouth opens up. He's got a nice little... Uh, his teeth are interlocking too, which is a pretty cool feature. Yeah. See? Pretty cool. Um, all the stickers on these guys are factory applied. They're not groovy applied, so they look pretty good. So yeah, um, as a quick little size comparison, here is... Uh, Henke Convoy. Whoops. Don't do that. So yeah, like I said, um, definitely a bit of a fail in the scale grade. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it is nice to have these uh, finally released as a, a set again, but yeah, bit of a downside as to not being the correct scale really uh, from here we're going to go to their combined mode because they're easy to go to combine mode from beast and then after combine mode we're going to end up on their robot mode so we'll be right back with volcanicus welcome back and here is volcanicus in his combined mode uh, this is the first time I've actually had these guys in the combined mode and it's possibly going to be the last time I have these guys in their combined mode. It just... I don't know, it looks weird. It's like, you know, the night before a major assessment is due and you just scramble at the last second to put something together. It's like, yeah, here's the combined mode for the Dinobots. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it serves a purpose, I guess. It gets all five Dinobots together and leaves Slash out by herself, which I think is a bit mean. Gender equality and all that stuff. Bollocks. Uh, put her to the side. Let's have a closer look at Volcanicus. So there's a nice little, uh, sort of Grimlock inspired head. Uh, it's got the red eyes, the mouth plate. Can't really see the details too well in this line. I apologize for that. Uh, I did try and go for like a Predator King sort of thing. The closest I could get was having uh, the bird be the right arm. <laughs> so we've got Swoop doing a pretty good job here of being an arm. Uh, here is Slag being an arm. Sludge and Snarl. They're actually pretty good... Uh, legs. Um, I'll put the camera back on the box and uh, we'll have a quick little spin round, shall we? See, how's that work? Is that... Yeah, that's a more encompassing look. Uh, so, having a bit of a spin around. So, the spare hands go on the back of the feet as uh, heels and they're doing their job pretty well, I must say. Uh, having another little spin around. I haven't put any of the, um, the individual weapons attached to this mode because I wanted to see if this mode looked okay, uh, without having those accessories just hanging off awkwardly, you know? And, you know, it looks okay, but yeah, probably not going to keep them in, uh, well, I might have to eventually keep them in combined mode just for the sake of, uh, conserving space, but, um... For the moment, this could be the last time I see Volcanicus for a while. Um, not going to miss it too much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, not a huge fan of the combine mode. The only other combiner I've got here at at hand at the moment is Predator King, but that's not really a fair comparison. So here he is with uh, Voyager Prime. So yeah. Basic com uh, modern combiner height. Uh, from here, we're going to go straight to robot mode. Welcome back. And here we have the Dinobots in their individual robot modes. Uh, the only thing missing from these modes is the uh, Prime Armor that comes with the four Deluxes. Uh, they're all just here. <laughs> Put them off to the side. The only Prime Armor I use is for Grimlock, and he's got them sort of as uh, arm-mounted blaster cannons, because uh, he doesn't have, doesn't come with any, he doesn't come with a rifle or a sword, no other weapons. 
Um, he's got a pretty good G1 Grimlock face and head sculpt. Uh, red eyes instead of blue, but that's okay. Uh, homage is the toy. Um, yeah, pretty solid robot mode. Um, it's very reminiscent of his G1 toy with all the T-Rex parts folded around the back. Um, all these guys pretty much mimic their G1 toy design. Just uh, tuned up a bit to incorporate the combine mode, obviously. And I think it's a bit more cartoon accurate as well. Uh, here we have Swoop. Uh, swoop comes with a sword, so the four Dinobots, two come with swords, two come with guns, and that's pretty much it. Uh, they can have, you know, guns and blasters and such with their prime armor, but I'm choosing not to use them. Uh, there's Swoop, he's got a nice little smile on his face, blue eyes, look at his back. Nice wingspan. The wingspan, as usual, you choose your own adventure as to how you want them displayed. Uh, so, yeah. I really like the look of Swoop. He looks like the friendlier Dinobot, which is usually how he's portrayed in the uh, in the show that he's on. Here is Slag. Comes with a rifle. Nice face sculpt, but I don't think we'll be able to get a particularly close look at it, because it's... um. Mostly molded in black plastic with the red eyes. Um, the eyes obviously stand out quite well. Whoops. Yeah, you can kind of see his mouth. But yeah, he looks like a pretty... These, don't get me wrong, these figures are awesome. They look great. But it's just the scale that really gets to me, really grinds my gears. Here is Slash. Uh, she looks pretty cool. If I can get her into focus, it seems to... She's so small, she can't even get into focus. But, uh, yeah, pretty... Um, she can incorporate a Prime Master, but we're going to be having a look at that when we look at Cindersaw. Uh, so, yeah. She is pretty cool. She doesn't come with any accessories or anything. Here is Sludge. He's got a hole in his chest. Yeah, uh, that's again to incorporate Prime Armor, but again, not incorporating Prime Armor because Prime Armor is stupid. Um, second one with a gun. The gun molds are identical. Uh, the swords are separate, different molds. Um, blue. His elbow joints are really stiff. Um, yeah. Again, awesome toy design. I think I might have this around the wrong... Uh, maybe not. So yeah, he looks kind of odd in with the other Dinobots because he's got like a... His head is his tallest feature. Whereas the other ones sort of have either something around the head or something on top of the head. Sludge is just like, hmm, got nice yellow eyes. There we go. So yeah, again, cool looking toy. Uh, just a bit small. Then again, they had, did have to meet a quota, I guess. Here is Snarl. He's got a transparent sword. So uh, good luck if that falls on the floor. <laughs> um, really nice robot mode with the... Uh, spine frame uh, on the back. These are the little flippy plates I was talking about. I think it's just so he doesn't have a huge backpack when he's in his robot mode. So they just fold down like that. There you go. Dino head there. And uh, yeah, that is Power of the Primes Dinobots. That's, this one's been about six months in the making because I've been waiting for I've had these four for quite a while. These two only arrived last week, Snarl and Sludge. They arrived last week, so I ended up having to buy them online because uh, Australian retail doesn't really seem to be getting uh, Power of the Primes in. It's mostly that Studio Series bollocks. So I had to order these guys online. So shame on you, Hasbro, for 
I was going to say making me spend my money overseas, but Hasbro's overseas anyway, aren't they? Eh. Anyway. There's Power of the Primes Dinobots. Um, should you get them? Hmm. I might cop a bit of flack for what I'm about to say, but you can buy knockoffs of the G1 Dinobots pretty cheap on online sources. And uh, I perhaps suggest them. Um, that's just for the G1 kick. Uh, screen accuracy, maybe, these guys. Definitely not for scale, because, again, this is... Voyager Prime, and if he was my Classics Prime, then even then he'd still be a bit small. But I've got Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime is my Optimus Prime, and Grimlock and Optimus really should be shoulder to shoulder. Um, so this is sort of like, if you, if you can picture the Dinobots sort of downgraded their size to have a, maybe a speedier design, speedier combination sequence. Um, maybe then grab them, but, I mean, if you're a fan of the Power of the Primes gimmick, um, then maybe get them. Uh, this is probably the lowest, um, recommendation I've had for should you go out and get this particular figure that I'm reviewing. Um, yeah, if you like the idea of, you know, the Beast or Volcanicus and definitely get them. Um, I don't think we're going to be getting any more Masterpiece Dinobots. I think Grimlock and, you know, actual Beast Wars Dinobot are the only two Masterpiece Dinobots we'll be getting. I don't think we'll be seeing these other four, specifically not that fifth one, as a Masterpiece. Uh, so yeah, screen accuracy for the toys, for the G1 cartoon, definitely. Scale... Heck no. Um, like I said, you can easily, you can probably still find um, knockoff G1 Dinobots if you can't find the original G1 Dinobots in a suitable price range. So, yeah, there's Power of the Primes Dinobots. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it informative. I hope, I hope you found it helpful as to, you know, whether or not you want to pick up these pieces for yourself. Coming up next. Um, I'm not too sure, but I look forward to bringing it to you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.